Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the late edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, taking a look at the weather forecast into the rest of the week, rather on the hot side out there again, but not quite as hot as it has been, so definitely good news on that. We'll continue to monitor again for the possibility of more thunderstorms into the next several days, especially in the afternoon and evening. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Trying out a new format tonight. This is part of our back background WSI graphics that we can use programming several types of animations into this iPad area so trying this out to take a look at don't forget at the bottom of the screen we've got again all the websites available the different social media networks that were available on if you'd like to take a look around don't have the Instagram one plugged in there but we'll have that coming up a little bit later on I guess it is there's the old logo down toward the bottom portion of the screen let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on across the Mid-South area tonight Back around the Graceland area, sun has fallen. Some beautiful sunset pictures out there for this evening, but a quiet evening at the home of the King of Rock and Roll for early this evening. Sunset around the Olive Branch area from former Olive Branch Mayor Sam Reichard's webcam, looking at a few clouds in and around the area from this evening. Heading down to Ole Miss and the end zone, the construction starting to finish up before the football season heads on through, but a quiet evening with a few showers and thunderstorms around the Oxford area from early on this evening. Taking a look at the earthquake report, fortunately not much of anything to report in the Mid-South from earlier today. One earthquake earlier Saturday just north of the Boot Hill of Missouri, up around the area close to New Madrid, but other than that, really not much of anything else to report at this point in time. Taking a look at the moon information for today, moonrise was at, will be at 1121 this evening, moon set was early this morning at 1056, moonrise will be tomorrow just before midnight, and moon set will be around noon as well as seeing the waning gibbous phase of the moon at this point in time as it heads toward the new moon phase 71.8% of full. UV radiation very high today and will also be rather on the high side as we go into tomorrow. Expecting about a 9 or a 10 rating on the UV scale so something again to consider if you're going to be doing anything in the way of work or exercise outdoors so please keep that in mind. Sunrise tomorrow at 6.04. Sunrise on Tuesday will be at 6.05. Sunset just just about 8.08 and starting to lose daylight pretty quickly. Now we'll be down to about 14 hours, 2 minutes by the time we hit Tuesday afternoon and evening. For today, we was about as close to normal as you can get. 74 the normal lows, 92 the normal high, 76, 2 degrees above normal for the low, spot on normal for the high temperature, 10 degrees above, 10 degrees above. Yeah, below a record high temperature 102 set back in 1934 so rather on the hot side out across much of the mid-south remembering that it could always be worse an official high temperature today of 92 degrees wasn't all that bad when you consider that several other places around the rest of the United States can be much hotter, including out toward the area of Southern California, right around Death Valley. That's where we see, again, the heat for the day. The maximum number for the United States today was 124 degrees, some about 22 degrees above where we sh would be in and around the area of the Mid-South. So, again, remember, it could always be worse out there. Rainfall today, we picked up over an inch early this morning, which means we are now ahead for the year by almost 10 inches, just shy of that, and an inch and a half or so uh, across the area for above normal conditions into around the Memphis area for the month of July so far. So hopefully finishing up July with a decent surplus. Heading into the next several days, chances of showers and thunderstorms and fairly hot conditions with numbers back in the lower to mid 90s. So heading toward the lower 90s to upper 80s by this next weekend, and chances of showers and thunderstorms unfortunately will be sticking around for much of the area into the next few days. So if you have plans for outdoors, heat, humidity, plenty of sunshine mixed in between the clouds and the rainfall. So something to think about there if you are going to be, again, heading outdoors anytime soon. Don't forget to download the News Channel 3 weather app. Search for WREG Weather. That will be available from the App Store. Also, don't forget about News Channel 3's Todd Demers. He'll be on the air bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting off at 4.30 a.m. And I'll have a complete update of the forecast coming up on Memphis in the morning on 8.00 
AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, and also on Talkback Live, which follows Memphis in the morning. You can catch the forecast there Monday through Friday mornings. And also don't forget that you can send me pictures on Twitter. If you have any great weather, sunset, sunrise pictures out there, please pass them along. We'd love to be able to feature them out there for everybody else. Aonic underscore WREG3. Again, a pretty quiet night, but more chances of a few showers and a few thunderstorms not out of the question. Little, if anything, as we record this tonight by just before 9 o'clock or so, and much more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms will exist over the Mid-South into the course of the next several days. So if you have any outdoor plans, please keep that in mind as we could be looking for more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the course of the next several days. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Complaints, suggestions, ideas, whatever you'd like to see on here, Aonic underscore WREG3. Uh, again, on Twitter or austin.onic at WREG.com, my email address if you'd like to send anything directly to me there. Stay tuned for more again tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, or if you're tuning in very late on this, News Channel 3's Todd Demers on Daybreak starting at 4.30 a.m. From the First Fence Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime.